we're back again here on Revan to the Coast, and we will continue to come back time after time until we find those few remaining diamonds that we are missing. But I wanted to go with a slightly different approach to at least the first half of this video. So we're in the far north right now up in the mountains, and I just wanted to run around in an area that we're not hunting as much. Things like the white gold ptarmigan that we shot recently and the legendary brown bear that ended up trolling us. They just make me think that there's probably good things all over this map, even in the areas that we're not hunting consistently. And I wanted to maybe pass through and see if we could find something like that. And in the meantime, going through these areas, there is going to be flocks of geese flying over. Maybe we spot a level 5 that just happens to be on the map and isn't in the locations that we're primarily grinding. Much like this, except I don't see any big ones. A couple of level 3s, there was a level 1 male in there I saw. I wouldn't mind trying to get that maybe for the Hall of Shame. Now, whether or not we hit it is a... Never mind. <laughs> I think we just shot that thing in the head, but normally, whether or not we hit it is a completely different matter. A lot of times when we do shoot a geese with a 22, they just get away. But every now and then we get a shot like that, we can hopefully affect our respawns and get something good in the future. That is a bronze. Actually a dark gray as well. So why not? We can tax that for all the shame, get us going here. And just hopefully the next one is on the other end of the scoring spectrum. We will definitely, though, take our opportunities at Black Rouse as well. They're one of my favorite species on this map. And just unfortunately, because of the area that we're kind of confined to, if we want to chase raccoon dogs and stuff, we don't really see any Black Rouse anymore. And we got our one diamond. We had a troll as well. I would love to get a couple more diamonds and display them elsewhere in the lodge. And we did get our leucistic gold too, so lots of cool ones we can potentially encounter. And I mean, it's kind of the same thing as the geese. When we get a chance at them, we can take one out. Maybe whatever respawns from it will end up being good in the future. And at the rate we're going with these geese, we'll probably do another trip like this going through these areas again. Because so far, nothing we've done has worked. Well, that's definitely not a bad link. has got a mythical out there almost 250 meters away. Which is actually kind of perfect for the 243, especially as he's kind of slowing down. So, I've talked about this a lot, but in case you don't know, the 243, when zeroed for 300 meters, is actually more like 250. It's gonna hit low at 300 if you aim for 300, but when you've got something like that, you can just aim dead on, and it's gonna hit perfect at that 250 meter range. So, easy shot to make, and we've got one of our better links we've shot in a while. Looks like he ran all of, like, five meters? Definitely, that was a, I, thought something looked weird. That was a piebald. Unbelievable. <laughs> Good thing we made that shot. 26.62 gold piebald links. That is nuts. I literally almost said, because I thought I saw that like white strip on his shoulder, but I just figured, you know, it's the lighting, it's kind of early-ish in the morning still. Probably nothing. I can't believe that. If there was ever a good reason to know, the 243 hits low at 300 and is more like dead on at 250, when zero for 300, that's the time, because that's not a big target. Right dead center of the lungs. What? I don't even know. Just the fact that we're even up here today is because of these geese that we've been chasing forever, and we just got... I mean, that's probably our best link skill ever. I don't think there's anything that tops it. <laughs> that's amazing. There's been a fair few of those. We're probably now up to three level four Thunder Bean Geese that we've shot, but none have actually been like a potential diamond level four. The estimate required for that would be two to three kilo. The diamond requirement I think is 3.16. So obviously they have to weigh in that area 3.1 kilo or so to even have a shot at it. But our little expedition here through the mountains has definitely been a success just in getting that links. But also we've been able to get some black grouse now, some other geese, as per usual, especially with Reventuli. We've shot a bunch of other stuff as we've gone along that's maybe not been all that interesting. But when we get a number of level 4 geese like this, it's definitely encouraging. But like I talked about last time, I really don't think it actually matters until we kill the entirety of the flock. I think only then do you actually get any respawns. But even still, if it's got to be one by one when we're up here, I guess that's what it's going to be. But this guy was a 2.88, not bad. I mean, that puts us 0.3 away. Definitely saw it, we still see this. This tracking distance with geese when we're not really tracking them nearly that far. Not bad though. We've been kind of decent with the 22. Maybe all the time spent on this map is kind of 
paying off. That's the weight estimate that we want at least. Just want to make sure there's not any fives in there, because there's tundra bean geese everywhere here, and maybe a spot we should consider doing another setup, but need to relocate that. That's him there. And actually, this may work out just because he's kind of coming our way. Our luck, this will be the one that we can't end up hitting, but getting close to 100 meters, so let's try just a couple of shots, and by a couple, I mean as many as we can fire. There we go. At least a chance with that one. I've basically gotten to the point that any potential diamond, even level 4, I'm going all in for, try to get it, because, I don't know, like, you saw the, the score of the previous level 4. They're within, like, 0.3, even without being the max weight estimate, is guaranteed to be pretty close when they are the max weight estimate, and maybe one gets over the hump and just kind of takes some of that time off that we have potentially to grind for. Also, we have a bunch of white down here. There's a pretty good one there, so... We've not fired the 7 mil yet today, I don't think. Maybe we can go ahead and take this guy out with that. If he'll stand still, that will do good for him. And our goose actually landed in the water, so we gotta go down there anyway. And just to be clear, I don't expect this to make diamond or anything, but at least there is a chance. It's... is it actually even any bigger than the last one? 2.93. I guess it is. Because that's about 0.2 away. Every time we see one of those, we'll definitely be taking it out. And... Just to look at it, it's this little lake here. I had a tough to duck set up here or something in early access. It was a good spot. Maybe we should try it. But our best goose to the hunt on top of a nice little bonus whitetail, 215 score for him. Managed to get that next shot at 102 meters, literally dead center in the neck. I do like the 7 mil for stuff like that. It feels especially accurate. But it's almost 11 o'clock. We're on our way down south to basically where we always hunt for raccoon dogs in like the southern corner of the map. Maybe we'll have a chance to run into a couple more things, but fairly shortly, that will be our focus for the remainder of the hunt. I mean, we talked about the troll brown bear from last time. Might as well go ahead and try to get this guy as well, even if it is as a respawn for future stuff. I mentioned before, the rate we're going with geese, it feels like we're going to be here a while yet, and you never know. It could be the case that we get a level 5 of one of them, go hunt the other ones for a little bit, and see another one. It could happen that way, but... In the meantime, while it doesn't look like there's an end in sight, we might as well keep on getting other stuff for respawns and see how that goes. That's a pretty big mythical as well. 424 kilos and a 27 plus score. Barely got the back of the lung there and then lug and liver, but we'll take that as a, a nice little bonus. So that brings us to, finally, the hunt for raccoon dogs. And I say finally, because we've actually been at it for like 45 minutes or so. And we just haven't been able to find very many males. And that's... It almost feels cyclical with them. Like, every other hunt, we have something like this go down. We either kill, like, 30 or 40 males everywhere. Both males and females. But at least finding males and getting golds and stuff here and there. Or basically nothing. And there's been, I don't know, half a dozen solo females and stuff that we've encountered. But nothing really to speak of in terms of male raccoon dogs. So, at least getting that guy taken out, maybe that gets us going. And we'll just see. I think another thing is... Hunting at the correct time. It is their feed time now. I did rest back to 10 a.m. So maybe that's going to help us in encountering them when we're, like, basically going down the road here. That is where we have the most success. And, I mean, we saw earlier what can happen when we're hunting on this map and taking our opportunities. With this whole flock of ptarmigan coming our way, we will take that opportunity and get a couple of respawns there. If that one wouldn't have landed, we could have just taken all five. Got some geese going by, too, but... Those are Canada geese, those are not things we're as worried about. And we go 5 for 5 with the Flock of Ptarmigan. I'd love to get more of them, we did have that White Plumage Type 1 as well, so even going back to the last hunt, we have had success in just taking these things when the opportunities arise, and seeing good results from that, so I don't think any of these were special, I didn't actually pay a lot of attention. One decent one there at 669, but I'm guessing then that is going to be it for the solid scoring ones, or that's even better. At 727, Diamond is 772, so well shy, but a couple of okay ones in there. Maybe that's got us going in the right direction just a little bit. Improving by one level with a level 5 this time, though it's going to be tough when we can't spot him. Not sure if that got anything good, it looks like it may have. And we've got a female run out of there, which we will attempt to take as well. That may require some tracking, but actually going down faster than I would have thought. But we did somehow manage to get a vital on the mail, 
which, I mean, it was still going to be a silver no matter what, but liver and intestines 90 meters away at that steep angle. We'll take that anytime, and then it looked like the female was maybe going to go like 60, 70 meters. And that would be just about the case. That's the actual impact there. She might not have even gone that far. If the tracking distance is working correctly, and we shall see what it says, I'm going to go with no, based on the 800 meter distance it says. Almost the same shot. A little bit too far back, intestine and stomach. And whatever is going by us here, just a, a lynx doesn't exactly look like our piebald earlier, but we might as well try to get that too. But definitely, just the fact that we're able to get both of those taken out, that seems to help the most. And I don't think that that's responsible for seeing less raccoon dogs today, because the last hunt, I can't remember how many we killed. It was 30 or 40, and there were only so many that were actually in the video. But almost no females got away, so it's not like there were a bunch of solo females left preventing the males from spawning. I'm honestly not sure what it is. It might just be being in the wrong spots at the wrong times. I mean, slowly but surely, we're getting a little bit somewhere. Got a level 6 this time, and it's, for whatever reason, kind of running our way. So, tough shot to get, but it looks like we got a vital. There's also a female there, which honestly we might use bird shot on just for fun. Is, are they both females? I think so. So you can, at close range, take them that way with bird shot. It's obviously not ethical, but it does get the job done and also gives you a little bit of kind of leeway in accuracy. As for our six, still a silver at 7.03, just missed out on being a gold, but slowly kind of improving in score every one that we find. Just, I mean, if we can keep that up, we'll get there eventually. And one more for good measure before we get out of here. Shotgun will cut it with two shots, bring it down. Just another female, but who knows like which of those three, if any, may have been paired with that male. We want to get them all just in case. I think it might be time to just accept today is not going to be our day for raccoon dogs. We're just not really having any luck. So we might as well try to end our hunt with a hazel grouse, which if he doesn't fly soon, we may have to shoot off the ground. He should flush when he gets close to us. That's kind of the way it normally works. Definitely taking his time, but at least we can do that. Hip shot at all on a 335 silver. By the way, one pellet right in the skull. I guess at five meters. All it's gonna take, but anyway. We've been here for just shy of three and a half hours, and as I said, I think in the last hunt, it's just gonna take a bunch of time, it would seem, and that's the thing that kills me is we have things like our piebald links today that end up showing up, and those are things we're not grinding. When we're putting in time for geese and raccoon dogs, it's just it's gotta happen eventually, I just don't know when it's gonna be, but that said, three and a half hours, and I have not gotten to see that guy in the lodge, and I think it's about time to uh, go and take a look. Now, this became a bit of a challenge just to find a place for it, and we ended up taking apart a turkey multi-mount. So we've got our max score Rio Grande up on the wall here, and then if we go into the back room now, we've taken down that multi-mount. I still want to have one diamond of everything displayed in this lodge, at least for now. So in order to do that, We've got a Diamond Merriam here, in the two turkey types with the Albino Rio, and now we've got the Piebald Gold Lynx on its own mount, kind of lunging at the two turkeys, I thought that'd be kind of cool, just the way that we could set that up. But that's just, I can't believe that happened, and again, it just goes to show. With enough time put in on that map, we're bound to get good stuff, it keeps on happening for the species that we're really not after, at some stage, we should be able to get those last couple diamonds and cross them off the list, but for now, that is going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.